Boxing Ego here. If you like this video, make sure you hit the like button and also subscribe to the channel and hit the bell icon on the top of your screen to get notified when the latest new content drops. One. Jamal Charlo looking in shape and ready for his new day April 21st versus Hugo Centeno Jr. Stay tuned. What up, Fight World? It's your boy Ego, and I'm back with some more boxing. Make sure you smash the like button. Also, subscribe to the channel for the latest and greatest in boxing if you want to become part of the gang. Gang. Notification gang, please hit the bell icon. Shout out to the Super Chats channel donations, the Venmo donations, and the Patreon family. We work in. I'm back with my original segment, Ego Weight Watchers, aka Ew, where I give you guys a look into the fighter lifestyle before, after progress pictures, especially when they have a fight coming up. Broner versus Jesse Vargas card has a fight. It was postponed. Initially supposed to happen on the Wilder Ortiz card, March 3rd. Got pushed back. Hugo Centeno Jr. had a rib injury. Jamal Charlo versus Hugo Centeno Jr. This is a middleweight eliminator. It was supposed to be for the winner of Canelo Triple G, but now it's going to be Gennady Golovkin because it looks like Canelo Triple G is being canceled. It looks like the fight is going to get canceled. So Golovkin has the belts. The winner should be a mandatory, become a mandatory Charlo or Hugo Centeno Jr. for Golovkin's WBC belt unless he loses it to somebody. I was looking on Jamal Charlo's Instagram. The dude's looking in shape. I just want to give you guys an update. I haven't made as many videos on this. The last video I made with Charlo was when he was going at Broner and Tank, but I want to show you just a little bit about what he's doing behind the scenes. And they say a picture says a thousand words. The man looks in shape. He looks ready to go. And this is what I like to see. He's a new face of the middleweight division. This is his second fight. I was at his first fight in New York. I covered that particular card and Charlo, he's pretty big. He, he looks pretty big. I'm, I'm wondering how he even makes, how he was even making 154, to be honest. And now he's at 160, so that gives him a little bit of breathing room. But he still looks big. You know what I mean? I think he can give Golovkin a whole bunch of problems if he goes in there and looks good with uh, Hugo Centeno Jr., who is no pushover, who's been in there and spar with Golovkin and Canelo, and is coming off a knockout, and he's actually bigger than Charlo, or at least height-wise and stuff then um, if he looks good in this fight, that's going to tell me a lot about the momentum that Charlo has. But we got to wait till April 21st to see how he's looking. Let me know what you guys think. But Charlo looking in shape. He's been sounding hungry in interviews. He's called out Canelo, who, who's in hot water with the Clint Buterol situation. He's also called out Gennady Golovkin. I would love to see that future fight. Let me know what you guys think. Charlo is in shape right now. 160. A lot of great fights. Him and Danny Jacobs had their little run in. Um, I came at the perfect time. You came at the perfect goddamn time. You already know me. <laughs> Let me know what you guys think. Lots of good fights. Loads of good fights. Demetrius Andre. They were both at 54 together. Now they're both at 160. Billy Joe Saunders. Let me know what you think should be next for Charlo if he gets past Hugo Centeno Jr. Or will Hugo Centeno Jr. upset Charlo? Lions only. Smash the like button as always. Hate, comment, and subscribe. Till next video's ego signing off. So if you enjoyed this video and want more content like this on the channel, you can show your appreciation by going to the PayPal donate button or the YouTube support button. And you can donate any amount that you feel is equivalent to the value of this video. Much more to come. Thank you guys for your support. Boxing Ego, the future of boxing.